Okay, today we're going to talk about kickouts and what they do and why you need them. So this is a kickout. This one here is already in. That's the placement where this kickout goes. And it's for water drainage. Now, we're facing west. Southern Ontario, that's where all, a lot of the weather comes from in the winter. Northwest, and west, and southwest. And your rain will come this way and it's going to hit the roof and it's going to drain down. Um, this is uh, a short piece of roof here, but the longer the roof is and more area it covers that will collect rain, the more important this becomes. This here is the secondary flashing with a pressure bend. So see how it, it sits tight to the roof? That's put in good. If you look underneath, you can see your step flashing right in there. There's your step flashing. Your step flashing overlaps the kick out and so do the shingles and the end of the shingles here so if you get a driving wind that pushes the water underneath it's not going to go in behind the step flashing catches it which is overlapping the kick out and it'll drain out here anywhere here and it's sealed here's one it's completely sealed here so any water that gets pushed into this edge here will come out here and your eave trough sits right here so any water that gets pushed into the corner will drip out here. It won't go in behind your stucco. So your stucco goes over top here. That's where your stucco is going to sit. So we don't want water to go in behind here. So see how this scoops the water out away from the wall? That's what a kick out does. So there's no water that gets in behind the roof below here, and the wall below. That could push out through any seams or anything. So the stucco here doesn't get destroyed from here down, under, from water leaking in behind here. And this is proper. Here's the point. The kickouts have to go in at the roofing stage. That means the owner or the builder has to direct and work it out with the roofers to put the kickouts in. The stucco guys don't come to about a month later. They're not going to put stucco on the house until the masonry's done, the windows are in, the shingles are on. Uh, and you can't expect the stucco guy to lift the shingles and install it underneath there's nails in there you're going to end up tearing the shingles so you don't want to do that so the best way to get kickouts is in, is put them in get the roofers to install them properly get them to see the video how they're supposed to sit in there get them done right at that stage of the build hi i'm mike chikini from chikinistucco.com i want to give a huge thanks for everyone checking out my videos if you haven't seen them yet just uh hit the link below if you liked or found this video helpful, please like, rate, and subscribe.